This time on the Low Boost Garage, I finally get the E36 started, I scare the shit out of my wife, and I take it for a test drive. Okay, so I did have to jump the relay to get power to the fuel pump finally, but um, we'll have to see what's going on with that. But let's try it now. Of course it was the last possible place that I could check uh, because I checked all the things that I did thinking I screwed up when it actually was the fuel pump relay fuse inside the wiring specialties harness which was bad out of the box. Very unlikely that this happens but it did. They were really great. They sent me a bunch of uh, extra fuses as spares just in case. Looks good. I had to turn it off. The camera doesn't even do it justice. It was so loud, I had to edit it out. My wife came out and started yelling at me because I scared the ever-living shit out of her and the baby. They didn't know what was going on. So open manifolds, yes, loud. Apologies to my neighbors because the next day I had to pull it out into the driveway and let it run for a little bit. So uh, yeah, they're not big fans of me right now. Car's all back together. Got the shroud on, a bumper. Looks pretty good. It's just really tight to fit a turbo. Maybe over here. Probably down low. That's the only chance we got. That's the M3 bumper that I got. Looks a lot nicer than the original. I'm gonna have to paint it to match. Hopefully that will allow for a bigger intercooler and a bigger turbo, but it's pretty good. Problem now is trying to figure out where to mount the turbo. If I can squeeze it in there, or I feel like we might have to put it in front of the radiator but behind the grill. Cause I don't know if it's gonna fit up top. So maybe it could fit here. Here you can also see how perfect the New Age Hot Rods radiator fits. It's like it was meant to be. It just dropped right in. As you can see here, the turbo that I have is a Borg Warner S475 with a T4 flange 1.1 AR. It is huge. I don't think I'm really going to be able to fit it anywhere and uh, I may have to swap out for a different kind of turbo. Uh, as we start fabrication because it's just really not going to fit anywhere unless I stick it way out of the hood which I'm really trying not to do. Not that I need a super sleeper but I want the car to look just like an E36 M3 would in 1995. These are E36 M3 contour wheels that were original M3 wheels. I had them redone and they look fantastic. They're probably the my favorite wheels that I've ever seen on an E36.
car is running and idling well, uh, so there's really nothing else to do other than take it for a little test drive. So let's go for a little ride. Now that the car is all buttoned up, we're gonna take it over to Savage Speed Garage and have them do the turbo fabrication and they're also gonna teach me how to weld a little bit. And they might know a thing or two about LS engines. So stay tuned next week, we're gonna take the E36 over to Savage Speed Garage, start clanging, banging, cutting, slicing, and fabbing up that turbo system. So make sure you guys subscribe, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.